Swiggity Swag, what's in the bag? Jay here bringing you guys a brand new PK Hex tutorial and today I'm going to show you guys how you can use PK Hex with uh, 3DS firmware 9.9 .9 and below, alright? Because beforehand we couldn't do that because they had patched the um, the uh, injection exploit or whatever, but now we can do it again using the Homebrew launcher. And if you guys don't know what Homebrew is, basically Homebrew allows you to run third party uh, apps on your 3DS and all that fun stuff. But before we jump into this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys that that this tutorial will not show you how to make a legal Pokemon with PK Hex, okay? That is not what this tutorial is for. This tutorial is going to show you guys that you can use PK Hex uh, with uh, updated 3DSs so you can uh, Poke Gen your Pokemon and you can like play online and stuff and uh, all that good stuff, alright? So, things that you're going to need before this tutorial begins. You're going to need a 3DS that is on firmware 9.9.0 .9 or below. Um, it really doesn't matter what 3DS it is. It could be the old 3DS, it could be the new 3DS, it could be the 2DS for all it matters. Uh, as long as it's a 3DS or a 2DS system uh, on 9.9 .9 and below, uh, you are good to go. You're also going to need an SD card reader because we're going to need to plug in our SD card into the PC. Uh, if you have a laptop, usually laptops come built in with an SD card reader. Uh, you can pick up an SD card reader from like Walmart or whatever, or you can get one uh, for very cheap online and uh, all that fun stuff. Next thing you're going to need is the YouTube app because we're going to be using the YouTube exploit and uh, that is basically going to uh, help us run our homebrew and uh, all that good stuff and things. And then they're also going to be um, other links in the chat. Uh, there's going to be a link to the, um, not chat, in the description. There's going to be a link to uh, this website right here where you're going to need to get the starter kit so you can prepare your SD card and uh, there will be another download link uh, called save manager because we're going to be using the save manager to extract the save file from our 3DS so we can uh, edit it on our PC using PK Hex. But now that we have everything, let's go ahead and prepare our SD card. So first thing you're going to do is take the SD card out of your 3DS and you're going to plug it into your PC. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now, and it should pop up with the autoplay. Uh, here's mine, removable, removable disc. So you should have two folders on your uh, on your um, SD card from your 3DS, it should say Nintendo 3DS, and it should say DCIM for pictures and stuff, right? So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the homebrew site, and you're going to scroll down and uh, go to the YouTube, uh, press YouTube, and it should, um, it should show you even more information, and... Uh, it's going to say preparing your SD card. So you're going to click on that and it's going to say up here preparing your SD card and it says in order to run, uh, in order for homebrew to run on your system you will need to place a few files on your SD card yada yada yada. To make things easier they uh, made a starter kit. So you're going to be you're going to click on this and you're going to download it. Now we already have it so uh, I'm not going to uh, download it as you guys can see uh, right here actually. Uh, I already have the starter kit so I'm not going to download it again. Um, but it is on my desktop. Uh, actually it's right here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to right click on it and we're going to go to extract to starter all right and so here is our starter kit right here you're also going to need a program like WinRAW or 7-zip something like that uh, I'm going to assume that you guys already have that if you guys don't um, you can probably Google WinRAR it's free um, so you should be good to go so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and double click on this starter folder and it's going to have a couple of files inside it's going to have a boot uh, file it's gonna have a 3ds folder and it's gonna have a game config we don't really care about the game config all we really care about is the 3ds and the boot and the boot uh, file so we're gonna go ahead and uh, highlight both of those and we're gonna take those and drag them to our SD card so boom and and bang so these two are on our SD card, but we're not done just yet, okay? Because we also want to go ahead and get the save manager and put that on our 3DS as well. So, um, so go ahead and download the other, uh, click on the other link that is in the video description that is labeled uh, save manager and go ahead and download save manager. You're going to do the same exact thing. You're going to go ahead and you're going to right click and you're going to uh, extract the save manager and you should get a folder uh, that says uh, save manager right here. So you're going to double click that, you're going to open it and it's going to have a 3DS uh, file inside. You're going to double click this and it, sh it should be a save manager folder inside of that. 
So we're going to go back to our SD card. This right here is our SD card. We're going to go ahead and click on this 3DS folder. And you're going to go ahead and see, you're going to see all this other stuff in here. This is all the homebrew stuff, right? These are all the apps on your homebrew. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this save manager and we're going to just drag and drop it into the 3DS folder that is on our SD card. And after that, our SD card is pretty much prepared. We're all ready to go. And we can go ahead and launch Homebrew on our 3DS system. So I will be right back and uh, I'll be on my 3DS this time. Okay, so now we're on our 3DS system. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to our system settings, okay? We need to go to our system settings because we need to actually change our internet connection and uh, we need to uh, put in um, a custom DNS so then we can be able to uh, use the homebrew so we're gonna go ahead and go to uh, system settings go to your internet connection connection settings and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your uh, whatever connection you use for the internet and you're going to go ahead and change settings and you're gonna go over click on DNS and it's going, to, it's going to say auto obtain DNS. It should automatically be selected. Yes. We're going to hit no. And then we're going to click detailed setup. Once you click on that, um, I actually already have the DNS uh, input, but it is 107.211.140.065. Uh, all right. So make sure you guys have this custom DNS entered all right because we need you need to put this in correctly in order to get your homebrew running so once you do that you can go ahead and hit OK you can hit save it's gonna save uh, it will say do would you like to perform a connection test uh, hit don't test and you can go ahead and go back 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 and basically go back to the home menu so once you get back to the home menu now we're gonna go to the YouTube app and we're gonna open up the YouTube app so uh, where is my YouTube app I'm waiting for it to load up okay so here is the YouTube app right here so we're gonna go ahead and click on that and we're gonna go ahead and open it and once it opens it should uh, prompt you to select the version of your 3ds all right and that is really really important so while you're in your system settings um be sure to um be sure to select the correct firmware now it crashed for me and it's restart my 3ds that's perfectly fine um i have ran into this issue before just let it do its thing uh just reopen the youtube app and you should be good to go uh because it should what it should do is if, if this is your first time it should prompt you uh to select your 3ds version i'm going to assume everybody's on 9.9 .9, but if you're not please make sure uh you know check and see what firmware you're on um in the system settings but uh i have already done this before so i don't need to change i don't need to um i don't need to um you know uh, tell it what firmware I'm on anyway so as you guys can see here we are now in the homebrew menu so now that we're here in the homebrew menu we're gonna go ahead and go down and what you should you should see at the very big uh, very bottom is save manager so we're gonna go ahead and click on that and then um, it's gonna say system settings what you're gonna do is you're gonna use the d-pad and you're gonna go uh, uh, go either right or left and select uh, your Pokemon game so right here i uh, went left and i want to extract the save file from my pokemon omega ruby so now that we have that we're gonna go ahead and click on a and then it's gonna say uh in the top it's gonna uh say in the top back uh a to back up save data b to import save data and then x to exit we want to back up our save data so we're gonna go ahead and hit a all right and once we hit a and uh, once it takes you back to this menu, that means your save data has been backed up to your SD card. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit exit and it should take us back to the homebrew menu. Uh, go ahead and hit start and it's going to say you're going to about to uh, boot back into the home menu. That's perfectly fine. It's, it's all good. It's whatever, because this is what we want to do. Now we're going to need to take our SD card out and put it back into the PC and uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that. So I will be right back, you guys. Okay, so I am back and here we go. Here's our SD card back in the PC. But now what you should see is a folder called Save Data Backup. All right, so you're gonna double click and you're gonna open this. 
and you should see a file called main. This right here is your save file. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up PK hex and re what we're gonna do now is we're literally gonna go ahead and hold up, I'm messing up right now. Um, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and open up PK hex. Uh, here's PK hex right here. And we're gonna go ahead and take this main file drag it and drop it into pk hex all right and uh it should show all your stuff in your boxes and everything it should show everything so uh, what we're gonna do now is what actually what i need to do is i need to clone pokemon for shiny trade saturday so you're about to see exactly how i clone pokemon for shiny trade saturday so uh let's see next up is voltorb so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna clone two boxes of voltorb uh but first what i want to do is i need to um actually you know what i can just um i'm gonna go ahead and clear a uh, part of this box so oh wait no i didn't mean to do that i did not mean to do that okay we really didn't mean to do that i meant to do this okay so i'm just going i'm just wiping out um some of my pokemon here do 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 because i gotta keep my boxes clean all right so what we're gonna do now is where is my voltorb um let's see view what item do, would i want to give a voltorb um let's just give it a master ball because you know why not so we're gonna go, go ahead and give a master balls and i'm gonna go ahead and mass produce these voltorb and we're gonna see all these voltorb in my pc on my game so do this um do i have another free box uh i do have another free box actually go ahead and just clone the boxes here as well so bo 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 do 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 all right so uh we have already we have edited our save file so now that we've done that what you're gonna go ahead and do is go you're gonna go ahead and go to save or sav over here and you're gonna go ahead and hit export sav and then it's gonna it's gonna say you know you uh, do you want to save it yada yada click save it's gonna say main already exists do you want to replace it yes we do and it says uh, save cyber sav to bleep bleep blah 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 bloop and we're gonna go ahead and click OK so now we can go ahead and exit out of that and now we need to go back to our 3ds and put our SD card back into our 3ds so I will be right back yet again okay so we are back in our 3ds and now what we're gonna do is go ahead and go back to the YouTube app uh, because we need to go back to our homebrew because we need to go back to our save manager and we need to uh, import the save this time okay so uh, what we're gonna do is go ahead and wait for the homebrew to uh, pop up and uh, and if it doesn't then it's gonna it's gonna reboot I don't know why it does this to me but it's all good it's all good I think it's just for prepping or something <laughs> I don't know it doesn't really matter but go ahead and click on the YouTube app why you gotta be so rude to me YouTube app I don't understand anyway um, just go back into the app if it forces you out just go back into the app um, you should be good and then um, just gonna wait for the homebrew to come up so here it is and blue screen red screen homebrew so now we're back in the homebrew menu we're gonna go back down to save manager uh we're gonna go uh back over to our game pokemon omega ruby we're gonna hit a this time instead of hitting a to back up our save data we're gonna hit b and import our save data so we're gonna go ahead and hit b and restore our save data so now we're gonna go ahead and hit exit and then once th you do that we're gonna hit start and we're gonna uh, boot back into the home menu and now we're gonna boot into the game and I'm gonna show you guys that um, that this did work and that we have a total of 60 new Voltorbs in our uh, PC so let's go ahead and start up our game and I will be back once we are in the game okay so here we are in the game so let's go ahead and go over to the PC and we should have two boxes of Voltorbs ready to go um, so here you go. Boom. Here's the Voltorb. Um, if you can't see that it has the Master Ball, wait for it. Boom. There you go. It has the Master Ball. So here's the first box of Voltorbs. And then, uh, as you can see here, um, remember all those Pokemon we deleted? Uh, we deleted all those Pokemon. So, um, you know, those Pokemon. I don't know why that little square was up there. Whoops, my bad. Um, all the Pokemon that we had here are gone. 
and all here are the rest of the Voltorb. So that is basically how you use PK Hex with the new 3DS Homebrew. Um, if you if you run into an error, like let's say you're stuck on the red screen when um, you're trying to get into Homebrew, uh, just try to change SD cards. You might have a bad SD card or an SD card that just doesn't want to work with Homebrew. I'm not sure. Um, but other than that, other than that, that's pretty much it when it comes to homebrew. Like I said, this tutorial is not going to show you guys how to make a legal Pokemon with PK Hex. This just shows you that you can use PK Hex on an updated 3DS 9.9 uh, .9 or below. Um, but if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And uh, I'm pretty sure someone in the comments will be able to help you out because I'm not going to always be around to help. Um, but I hope this tutorial did help you guys. And if it did, please don't forget to hit that like button down below and let me know in the comment section below. Um, um, you know, yeah, if this if this tutorial did help you out and what did you do uh, with PK Hex? Did you make a new team? Um, did you clone Pokemon? All that fun stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and get about here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.